So, are you looking to buy a Louis Vuitton Speedy, but not sure which size to get, the 25 or the 30? Well, in this video, we're gonna compare the two. Also, watch till the end, as we are going to include a seven question survey to help you make your decision. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, my name's Christina, owner of Closet Connection Resale Store, bringing you the best tips and advice on styling and getting your dream Louis Vuitton bag. If this is the first time you're watching this video, please subscribe to our channel and definitely check out our Instagram store page in the description below, where you will find a selection of all of our pre-owned Louis Vuitton handbags for sale. Speedy, dare I say it's one of the most iconic bags in the world. First made in 1930, um, as a portable version of Louis Vuitton's travel bag, the Keep All. And initially it came in three sizes, 30, 35, and 40, but it was Audrey Hepburn that requested a smaller version, and so the Speedy 25 was born. And now the century old question, which one do I get? The Speedy 25 or the Speedy 30? In this video, we will mainly go over the specs of the classic Speedy, not the bandolier version. Although, you'll probably find this information useful if you're considering on buying um, the Speedy in the bandolier version as well. Now, to help you decide, we will first go over the basic information of the classic Speedy, then we're going to consider five factors, and then we're gonna end with a seven question survey to help you make your decision. So here are the basics. Speedy 25, let me look at my notes. All right, so 98 inches wide, 7.4 inches tall, and 5.9 inches deep. The 30, uh, okay, the 30 is 11.8 inches wide, 8.2 inches tall, and 6.6 .6 inches deep. Let's compare the two side by side. All right, the main difference is the Speedy 30 is two inches wider. 1.6 inches taller and 0.7 inches deeper. So as you can see, the two bags have quite significant differences in size. Now in terms of price, the Speedy 25 retails at about $1,000, whereas the Speedy 30 is about $1,020. So really, it's just the $20 difference. And most people opt for the Speedy 30 thinking that it's gonna fit a lot more. However, in our opinion, price is the least significant factor when making this decision. Now, in terms of what fits, let's start with the Speedy 25. This deceptively spacious little guy can actually fit a lot. Let's see. Wallet, coin, pick, coin purse, coin pouch, you know what I'm saying. Agenda, I don't know why you would need two wallets, but you might. Phone, I almost forgot the most important thing. And look, there's still some space left. So basically, the Speedy 25 is great for all of your daily essentials. However, we all know that the Speedy 30 can fit a lot more. So I went ahead and put everything um, from, or I'm sorry, I transferred everything from the Speedy 25 into the Speedy 30. And I'm also going to add a scarf and my iPad. Look at that. So the Speedy 30 can fit all of your daily essentials plus any extras that you might need to bring with you, like gloves, scarf, book. 
now that we've looked at the basics of both bags, um, let's take a look at five factors to consider when making your decision. The five factors are bag style, shape, size, height, and travel usage. In terms of styling preference, if you're the kind of person that likes evening bags, crossbody bags, um, little cutesy bags, then the Speedy 25 is definitely for you. Um, it can easily transition from work to evening. And if you're worried that this little bag isn't gonna hold a lot, you are wrong. This is deceptively large and holds a ton. Now, if you're more into top handle bags, shoulder bags, or just larger classic bags in general, then the Speedy 30 is uh, a better choice for you. It's best when you hold it just like this by the handle or in the crook of your arm. This is um, a really elegant, um, timeless Louis Vuitton classic. In terms of shape, if you prefer a more structured look, then the compact, um, smaller Speedy 25 will be a better fit for you. Uh, with the Speedy 30, because it's larger and less structured, it does tend to sag a little bit in the middle when you put some stuff inside. But if you do prefer the um, slouchy classic shape, then the Speedy 30 is for you. Not to mention that you can overcome that problem with a simple base shaper and organizer. Now, in terms of size, if you like to carry light and just the daily essentials, then the Speedy 25 is perfect for you. We've shown you earlier that this bag can fit a lot. And because it's more compact and structured, your items tend to stay more organized inside. The only downfall to this bag is um, the mouth opening right here isn't as wide. So getting your stuff in and out of the bag can become a problem. If you're looking for more of a carefree, like toss your stuff in and out of the bag, quick access type of thing, then the Speedy 30 is definitely your bag. As we explained earlier, the Speedy 30 is a much bigger bag and can fit uh, your daily essentials plus extras. And the mouth opening of this bag, see it's a lot wider, so you get much easier access to all of your goodies. In terms of physique, it's been suggested that the Speedy 25 looks best on people that are 5'7 and shorter, and that the Speedy 30 looks best on people that are 5'7 and taller. We personally think that height is the least important factor when making your decisions, and we also think that the 25 and the 30 looks great on people of all heights. Now, in terms of travel usage, if you own a crossbody strap, you can wear your Speedy 25 as a crossbody. With its compact size, it works perfectly as like a travel companion crossbody bag. And because of its small uh, mouth opening that we talked about earlier, it also works as like an anti-theft device. Now, if you're looking to use the Speedy 30 as a just-in-case luggage, <laughs> then it will go a long way to help you out. With its um, ample space and amazing storage capacity, um, you can definitely use the Speedy 30 to fit in some extra travel items and things like that. Now, it's time to put this information to the test. As promised, here is a seven question survey that we give our clients on helping them decide whether they should buy Speedy 25 or Speedy 30. Full disclaimer, all of these questions are based on our opinion, our opinion alone and might not work for everybody. We assign positive and negative signs for comparison purposes only. Now, to explain how the survey works, you will need to get a pen and paper and record your number based on your answers. After you're done with the survey, you're gonna add up all your numbers. Now you can pause this video to go grab your pen and paper. Here are the questions. Question number one, how do you usually use your bag? Top handle or classic, write down plus 30, shoulder neutral, zero, 
or is a crossbody cute? Minus 30. Number two, do you usually carry a lot in your bag? Basic small leather goods plus other items such as gloves, scarves, cardigan, diaper, etc. Yes, right plus 20. No, minus 20. Question number three. Is a sturdy structure in the bag an important deciding factor for you? For example, you don't like the slouching shape and things getting lost in the bag? Yes, right minus 15. No, plus 15. Question number four. Is easy accessibility to a bag an important deciding factor for you? For example, you don't like small mouth opening on a bag. Yes, right plus 15. No, right minus 15. Question number five. How tall are you? Taller than 5'7", right plus 10. 5'7", exactly, zero. Shorter than 5'7", minus 10. And question number six. Are you planning to use this bag for travel? If no, just ignore this question. If yes, what are you planning to use this bag as? Luggage, right, plus five. Crossbody, right, minus five. And finally, question number seven. Do you have any larger go-to bags? If yes, right, minus five. If no, plus five. Now that's all the questions. You can pause the video and add up all your answers. So the results range from plus 100 to minus 100. Again, we put positive and negative signs for comparison purposes only. They don't reflect our opinion of the bags. Okay. If you get any number between plus 100 to plus 50, we would recommend the Speedy 30. If you get any numbers between negative 100 to negative 50, we're recommending the Speedy 25. If you get a number between negative 50 and positive 50, then we, we recommend both the Speedy 25 and 30. Also, overall, if your number is a positive number, we think the Speedy 30 might work best for you. If your number is a negative number, then we think that the Speedy 25 might work best for you. Hopefully the survey gives you a quick idea about which Speedy suits you best. And again, please note these are strictly our opinions. And if you have a chance to go to the Louis store and try both of them on before making your decision, that is highly recommended. So question of the day, what number did you get? Post your answer in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and definitely check out our store Instagram page in the description below. And comment, 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 and share our video because your love motivates us to create better content in the future. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Stay fun and fabulous. Till next time, bye.